Hey guys, so uh, I played a little bit of Diablo Immortal and I uh, played it on PC and uh, this video is going to kind of be about the gist of it, the premise of the storyline, uh, the classes and uh, sort of how it works but um, it's also going to be about my first sort of hour and a half playing. <sighs> I'm going to be honest with you, straight after playing it I sort of recorded <laughs> a little bit of my feelings towards the game uh, and upon reflection I think maybe I was a little bit harsh but um, I thought I'd just uh, say that before we continue but um, yeah here we are so uh, Diablo 4 came out Diablo 4 Diablo 4's just come out Diablo Immortal Diablo Immortal's just come out I don't really know what I was expecting, but I was kind of expecting this. I, I've played it for about an hour or so. Um, I've gotten through like the first uh, main town, the first main mission, and uh, it's like a watered down version of Diablo 3. And I've only played it for an hour, so maybe, you know, they're going to pull like some magic trick out and impress me but I'm gonna be honest with you uh, I've been playing it on PC and uh, it's alright it's a free game I can't complain but uh, it's not something that I would want to play <laughs> I love this fucking big red shit it's so good the main problem for me really is that my phone is really old and I can't fucking play Diablo Immortal on it and I think it would be a good game on a phone I guess but um, yeah I wouldn't play it on PC let's just, let's just say that but that's up to you you know maybe maybe it's something that you know you'll enjoy there's cosmetics you know 49.99 for some cosmetics uh, Blizzard you know free game cool whatever um, here's some footage of my first hour in it and the first mission and the first sort of town basically the whole premise is uh, you're looking for shards of the uh, fucking world stone I almost forgot what it was called there for a second <laughs> hey the cool thing is that Deckard Cain is, uh, is still alive he's still he's still you know kicking around he he, he hasn't died yet uh, spoiler but um, yeah that's that Hey, you got your barbarian. You got your wizard boy. Not the sorceress anymore. Ah, you got your demon hunter. Look how fucking cheesy this is, man. What the fuck is this? You got the monk. You can go male, female on all these classes, by the way. So you got the Crusader, he's not not to be confused with the fucking Paladin, this is Crusader, not the Paladin. And you got your Skelly Boy, good old Necromancer. So I played it for the first 20 minutes or so. You get dropped off a boat, uh, you, you gotta make your way to a town. Uh, you know, typical stuff, uh, it's like a 1, 2, 3, 4 for your attacks. Uh, Q for health pot. My main gripe, one of my main gripes, is my guy just keeps giving me these cheesy, shitty remarks. Knowledge is its own form of strength. Okay, buddy, you know you leveled up, but why? Why the comment? It's just not necessary. <laughs> More arcane power. Astonishing. He's got a comment for everything and. They're really annoying, you know? Every time you level up. Knowledge is its own form of God. <sighs> he killed them. He killed them all. The voice acting is fucking terrible. Look, uh, I know there are a lot of Diablo 3 fanboys out there, and, you know, Diablo 3 has definitely improved since when it launched, but, you know. 
the, the, the people who were really hoping Diablo 3 was going to turn out good were the people who played Diablo 2. And I remember the days when Diablo was this gritty, scary, creepy game. You know, it, it gave you that feeling. Diablo 3 just didn't have it. And it's because the animations, they're just over the top. Everything is just over the top. All the attacks, all the voice acting. It's like they hired people from Fortnite who got who just got laid off and and just fucking put them into the creativity department of Blizzard. It's you know, I wouldn't be surprised if we're going to be seeing the floss emote, you know, shortly in this fucking game. It's just it's just so fucking un I, I don't even know how to describe it. It's plastic. It's superficial. If I'm going to play a fantasy game like, like Diablo 2, you know, I'm going to want it to be at least a little bit gritty and a little bit fucking believable. But, you know, I'll give you an analogy. Anyone who played World of Warcraft, there's a reason why everyone was crying out for World of Warcraft Classic to come out. Because World of Warcraft Classic or Vanilla was a really good game. Burning Crusade, excellent. Wrath of the Lich King, excellent. Then, at some point, Blizzard started to stray away and, and all of a sudden we got fucking talking pandas in Chinese buildings with Chinese accents. What the fuck? Who, whose plan was that? Whose idea was that? Sack that man. Why, why have we got Kung Fu Panda all of a sudden being brought into World of Warcraft, you know? I feel like it's the same guy doing that shit to World of Warcraft that just destroyed the fucking game as far as I'm concerned. As soon as we had Talking Pandas, mate, that was rip for me. I was out. You know, it's the same shit. Just here. Diablo 3, same shit. It's just commercial. You know, Diablo 2 was gritty. Diablo 2 resurrected. Cool, you know, it was a rehash. It was fun. It was good. But it, it was limited. I'm hoping they don't do this to Diablo 4. If Diablo 4 ends up being a rehash of Diablo 3 just with fucking extra animations and shittier fucking voice acting, I am gonna give up on Blizzard entirely. Look, I could just spend the whole night ranting about this game, we'd get nowhere. I'm gonna be honest with you, maybe it's a good mobile game, you know, um, but it's a shit PC game. It's just a watered down version of Diablo 3 with somehow worse voice acting and cheesier, more over the top animations. Um, that's all I really have to say. Sorry about the rant. Um, I just really hate the direction that Blizzard's going in. I remember when they used to be top tier. Now they are at the very fucking bottom. Uh, I'm just hoping Diablo 4 doesn't go this way. And I'm sure a lot of you are also mirroring my my thoughts on that uh i hope you at least enjoyed the video in some way uh and i'll see you later guys bye